so I'm on holiday until a couple of days before the next round at Ipswich but I'm still doing a bit of hot rod work so let me show you what I typically go through to set the car up it might be dull again but hopefully not so uh, this is what I basically fill out every time I set the car up if I start from zero it takes about six hours if I'm just tweaking it probably need a couple of hours so up here I've got spring rates so I make sure I put the spring rates in fairly obvious uh, but they're not all unlike a circuit car they're often all very different to each other whereas circuit racing they'll be the same side to side we change it then you've got uh, wheel angles so you've got the camber uh, the caster again on the outside you'll have a negative camber inside that positive camber caster I tend to run different levels each side um, just uh, sort of pulls to the right if you put a bit more caster on the left left hand side it will naturally pull to the right which just eases it on the way in then I've got the corner weights without the driver corner weights with the driver once these are in you have it it gave basically I've done a formula that gives me the cross weight uh, the right weight because uh, there's a limit on the amount of right weight you can run rear weight total weight and then also it also takes into account the amount of fuel I've got in the car so I tend to do that with without myself and then put myself in it and cross-reference it ride heights again all different um, left side to right side are totally different front to rear is totally different again I set them with without me and then I put myself in it and check them and then front suspension there's tons here so all the angles of the um, the wishbone TCA the compression strut um, I've also got different holes on the chassis to where I want the uh, where I want the actually bolting on the chassis I can change it so it changes the angles uh, also the trackings all of these make a difference they're all different um, not the same side to side on a rate on a circuit car they'd be exactly the same side to side uh, damper rebound I can't ch I can't change the bump so I can only change the rebound uh, so again I settle these again they're all different from corner to corner and you can adjust these from race to race to give you more a better balance in the car preload again I use different preloads on each corner um, which basically means if the if the springs under tension when you bolt it on the car before you've actually dropped it to the ground or not so different amounts for different corners I find makes a big difference track width from setup bar so um, basically from side to side um, I have a setup bar and if I calculate if I put in the measurement from the setup bar which is a steel tube that I just literally push into the side of the car and it gives me a datum so it's like putting a string around the car but you can't really do it on these cars anymore so I have a datum and I can uh, again position each wheel off that so again we don't have all the wheels in the same place around the car it's not uh, like a circuit car where they all be equal distance from the center line these every wheel on my car is different and it makes a massive difference same with the track length you know typically you run the uh, inside of the car slightly shorter than the outside of the car because it's not got to go as far around the corner if you got to mean so that makes a difference um, and then rear suspension we've got diff angle top link so it's a three link on the rear axle some people use four some people use you know all sorts but I use a traditional three link so top lift top link ankle is important top link chassis hole so again there's four to choose from um, so that makes a difference panard rod angle panard rod position on axle so I've got various mounting points depending on what track I'm on roll center um, again roll center you can move it to the left or to the right um, or leave it in the center bottom link bars what hole this hat there's various holes on the axle which you can change again it makes a difference 
the tracking makes a difference. So on the left side or the right side, you can do it independently to a degree. Uh, it's a bit basic because it involves you just bending the, the solid axle, but still makes a difference. Um, and then also the angle of the bottom li link bars uh, left and right. So I normally, I have basically all my, down the bottom there, I have all the different races that I've done, all the different base setups and uh, I constantly fiddle with them when I'm on holiday because I actually still learn a lot even though I'm not at the racetrack so there you go